Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. It's uh, June 26, 2023. Great to be with all of you today. My name is Bob Lang, and it's time for our chart, our uh, daily bites. We'll be doing chart of the week a little bit later on uh, on Wednesday, um, but it's great to be with all of you today. So let's talk a little bit about markets here before we uh, get the week started. Of course, this is the last week of June, so the last week of the second quarter um before um we have a little bit of a uh, minor break next monday is going to be a short trading day it's only a half session and then of course uh uh tuesday fourth of july the markets will be closed and we'll resume again on uh july 5th but um first things first we've got to get this week um uh out of the way um again we're going to have a lot of um moving and positioning a lot of volatility this week with um money moving around from equities to fixed income and back and forth, all right? Um, that's just the way things work. Uh, towards the end of the quarter, a lot of hedge funds position themselves for more fixed income, for less fixed income, trying to balance their portfolios uh, accordingly so they um, are in line with what, uh, what, the, uh, what the markets and what interest rates are gonna be doing into the future. So um, look for some of that coming on along uh, this week. Uh, a lot of what's what we call uh, window dressing. Uh, a lot of people who uh, are not in stocks that they want to be in at the end of the quarter, like a, like an NVIDIA or an Apple or something like that, or a Meta, they'll want to be uh, adding some of those names. So we'll see. I, I, they sort of consider the window dressing sort of a false um, rise in, in prices and they, they pull back. I'm not, I'm, I'm not so sure really it, it, it matters much at all, but it's just something to be aware of, okay. all right? Um, futures are down a little bit this morning, just a tiny bit. They're off of their worst levels of the, of the, uh, of the morning. Of course, we, uh, we did um, rise up on uh, futures, you can see here, uh, when they opened up last night. Uh, and uh, it's right over here, we opened up higher and then we slipped um, in, the, in the morning. Uh, down about uh, right after Europe opened, we slipped from about 43.90 all the way down to 43.73. We're almost down about 20 handles from the highs that we were when we opened up yesterday, um, and we've uh, recovered a, a lot of those uh, losses, and we're only down, um, you know, about one and a half points over here. Volatility is up this morning. We see the VIX is up about um, about five, about six percent already. Uh, VIX futures are only up a smaller amount than that. So um, that's telling us a lot of information about um, how, you know, VIX cash um, people are, are looking for um, for uh, protection buying uh, buying the VIX, but not necessarily um, worried about 30 days out with uh, VIX futures over here, which expire um, in about a month. So um, let's see what else here. Um, we saw a couple of upgrades this morning. Um, we saw Amazon was upgraded today. Palo Alto Networks was also upgraded. Uh, Amazon is one of my favorite names over here. I do have quite a few um, call uh, positions on. Another one I like here is Uber. Um, Uber has been um, showing some good relative strength. In fact, we'll um, we'll take a look at that chart here in just a second. Um, you can see um ever since they reported earnings gapped up higher and have been making higher highs and higher lows staying above that 20-day moving average which is really important um the markets were getting uh, pasted on friday but still the stock um managed to post a nice solid gain and it's following through today so if we get through that 44 and a half 45 level um we can see the stock really uh making a nice move i think it's got some room up to 50 or 55 dollars eventually so um also uh wanted to share with you a chart that i looked at this morning um <clears throat> this is one that i share with all of you uh from time to time which is the stocks above 50 day moving average um we are still above that 50 percent level so 52 percent. we did spike above uh 75 and pull down a little bit towards the uh last part of uh last week um but we are still above that the blue box right and as long as we're above the blue box um you know everything seems to be fine in, in uh, for the polls but if we get penetrate into that blue box that's going to be a negative and um of course um we're going to uh we're going to see the markets uh, fall back a little bit all right so take a look at uh, uh we'll, we'll take a look at that one probably in about another uh, couple of weeks and um uh, see where we're at there uh, as well so um uh, again, you know, we're, we're kind of in a seasonally weak period for uh, for stocks, and uh, that generally uh, means that there's some downside. We did have a little bit of downside last week, of course, um, following that uh, uh, options expiration from the prior week. Um, so we may uh, we may see a little bit of that spilling over. However, I don't think it's going to be too much. As we go back to this chart over here, 
let's take a look at the um, uh, oscillators. And you can see the NASDAQ oscillator down at minus 138, not quite oversold yet. And the NICE oscillator down at minus 96, um, <clears throat> working its way towards an oversold reading. If it gets to like minus 150 or so, that's probably enough to a uh, pretty good um, oversold reading. We get to minus 200 on the NASDAQ, also the same thing. Probably a good oversold reading that the market's going to get a bit of a bounce. So um, I wouldn't be looking for a bounce just uh, just yet. Maybe in a couple more days uh, we might see that. We'll see what the breath uh, numbers are um, today. Friday, the breath numbers were atrocious. They were minus 200, no, minus 2020 versus minus uh, 900. So 20, 20 to 9 negative on the breath. And you can see on the internals here, let's turn these on. Um, you can see here um, the bold was straight down. The volume um, distribution was straight down. Um, we saw ticks were pretty concentrated on the red. Uh, ADD uh, accumulation distribution was down as well, too. And we did see a, a, a trend down day on the ADSPD. So Volatility started to rise. You see put calls are starting, starting to rise as well, too. So these are just some warning flags. So that's something to take a look at um, uh, very carefully, okay? Um, it doesn't necessarily mean the uptrend is over yet, but it's just something certainly that we need to pay attention to, all right? Um, I think that's going to be it for now. We'll be back on Thursday, and uh, guys, have a great trading day. Remember, keep your, keep your protection on. Keep the puts on. Um, they're always going to help you out. And uh, you know they're 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 cheap right now, so they're not they're not that expensive. So if you're wrong, you can just sell them, get rid of them, right? There's nothing wrong with that. But it's better to have some protection on just in case. All right. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you guys all on Thursday. Thanks.